Sip, how are we doing? Good. Well, Hohen see kind of an interesting night for him. Ten strikeouts, but need a little help. Yeah, he was doing. He was very sharp. I thought he was really solid, and he just ran out of gas in that last inning. You know, you're he, sitting there, and he's at 106, and you're like, well, he had threw 30 pitches the week before. The velocity's still good. He just got tired and was up in the zone a couple times, and, and uh, yeah, we know Rutgers is going to scratch and claw and keep fighting, and uh, you, know, you can just see it in their body language at the plate, and, and uh, you know, they got to him for a few runs, but we were able to find a way out of it. In that inning, uh, Mojo's catch in right field, how much of a spark does that provide yeah, I mean, Louis, Louis had a chance to make a play, and he's made a lot of great plays out there. That ball was right at him, just kind of twisted him a couple different directions. But, yeah, you make plays, you have a chance to win. Moj made a huge play, you know, and uh, that one, and then he ran down a, a little blooper the next inning uh, to right that was short right field. You know, you got to make plays. Schlepp made a couple great plays. That ball finds a hole in the ninth inning. That's, you know, who knows what happens that inning. Bryson comes in, makes a nice running play to end the game. Altavilla goes to third, made a nice play, went in the sixth hole, got a big out at second base with the fastest guy running to second base. So, you know, again, you make plays, and our players make plays. You got a chance to win. Well, he mixed super heavy early on. We knew that they, you know, they do a really good job of, of zeroing in on, on fastballs and, and, and their plus counts, and early on especially. And we really had to be sharp. And, and he was being able to glove strike his breaking ball and his changeup. And I thought he did a really good job with two strikes outside of maybe one guy where he was really executing down uh, with his pitches, which was huge. And you know, again, his fastball command was pretty solid. So it was, uh, you know, what you need on a Friday night. fastball down the middle of the plate just using the whole field same with Roscom. you know you just got a fastball it over the plate you know like we talk about not hitting pull side ground balls we, we we got our quota for the day again so we did a nice job of that but then we did some damage to the opposite field and a lot of good things happen when you use the whole field when you have to take a week off for the finals i mean you kind of worry about how your guys are going to kind of come back to the field after it's all done or what you can see from early on there? michael no doubt about it it is they I don't know if in a daze is the best word, but they're they're it's just out of the routine. I mean, they're grinding, they're mentally tired. There's no doubt about it. So it had a different vibe. You know, you could just tell everything wasn't as sharp. Uh, but again, you found a way. It was, it was you know, again, we made nice plays, but you can you could feel the just the guy. You know, it's just that 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 lull after a, a tough week of finals. It's there, and you've got to be able to battle through that. And I thought our guys did a good job of handling that. And, and uh, you know, now like I told him, get some good rest tonight because those guys ain't going away. Did the short week did it help physically at all? Was it the what week? Did the short week, like in practice, help physically at all? Oh, I mean, anytime that you can get a couple extra days off to rest guys up, yeah, it's a big deal. Uh, but there's that that's that fine line. You get them too much and they get a little, a little sluggish. But it's, it's uh, definitely something you need to do, and it just makes that much important yesterday in practice and in your pregame today to get back up to game speed. But it's just it's hard, man. When you get out of your routine and you're used to doing something all the time, it's like feel, any kind of feel. If, you, if you're a good golfer and you, you don't chip or putt, well, you're not just going to magically be able to do it when you take a few days off. you got to continue to have that feel, and, and that same thing goes with baseball. And, uh, you know, I, I thought we were just a little rusty today, but we found our way through it.